Once upon a time, there were two hunters. One of them was chubby, with rosy red cheeks, and her name was Henrietta. The other was quite thin, and his name was Harvey. Henrietta and Harvey were both greedy and selfish. They loved to hunt wild animals, and once a year they would go to Africa to hunt. They didn't want to hurt the animals. They just caught them and sold them for large zoo back home. Well, now you have met Henrietta and Harvey, perhaps you would like to hear a story about them. Maybe we can teach the hunters a lesson and teach them to respect the animals that live there. Okay, you ready? Ready. Right, let's go. Henrietta and Harvey laughed as they walked through the jungle. They were dressed in brown and green colonial hunting clothes, black leather hunting boots and wide brimmed sun hats. Their camouflage backpacks were full of good things to eat. Who cares about the jungle? Henrietta chuckled. Not me, Harvey. We don't care about the animals here, and we come hunting every year. Monkeys, lions, rhinos and birds, making lots of money, oh we love those magic words. Henrietta and Harvey loved money, it was their favourite word. We don't care what people say, right, because we go hunting anyway. Can you say the magic word, Harvey? Henrietta asked, oh you mean money, yes I can say money, 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 money. Yes, that's the one, I sure can. Yes, that would be nice, thank you. And uh, can you give me some water, please? 
Henrietta reached into her backpack and opened it up. Inside was a box of sandwiches and some yummy chocolate. There are also two bottles of water to drink. Here you go. Thank you. I want to catch a monkey, Henrietta said impatiently. Harvey took a sandwich and opened up a bottle of water. Well, I want to catch a tiger, he replied as he lifted the bottle to his mouth. Just then, the lions began to wake up, and the lion cub started to cry. Be quiet, Harvey demanded. We're going to sell you to a zoo for lots of money. Henrietta thought his friend was very funny, and she laughed loudly. Yes, lots and lots and lots of money. Once they'd eaten and drunk plenty of water, Henrietta and Harvey went off to hunt once more. I don't like it in this cage, Mum. I just want to go home. I want to be with my friends again, to wander and freely roam. The lion cub cried. Yes, my son, I know. Don't cry, my little one. Be brave, my darling child, and have faith in things to come. I don't want to go to the zoo, Mum. I want to grow up here. I just want to play in the long grass again, in a world without pain and fear. The sun up in the sky, so red broad to see, high above this great big land, where we were once so free. Later that day, as the sun was crossing the sky, Later that day, as the sun was crossing the sky, two children passed by and saw the lions. The little girl was wearing a red skirt and patterned multicolored blouse. Her name was Jenny. The little boy was wearing blue shorts and a white t-shirt. His name was John. Jenny and John were brother and sister. They lived nearby with their, with their mother and father. Jenny ran across to a cage and spoke to the lion. What are you doing in there? She asked curiously. The lion cub began to cry, and his mother tried to comfort him. I want to go home, he sobbed sadly. I don't like it in here. John stood next to his younger, younger sister, and he asked, well, who put them in there? Two hunters who want to sell us to a zoo. The female looked at lion replied with tears in her eyes. Jenny and John tried to open the cage, but it was locked. They pushed and pulled with all their might, although there was nothing they could do. We'll be back soon with help, John said softly. The children left to find somebody who could help them. Please, don't leave us, the lion cub cried proudly. Don't worry, we'll be back. <laughs>
with the two one, a male and a female monkey. The monkeys were fast asleep. The hunters locked them up in another cage. Then they set themselves down before a campfire. The poor hunter began. It was a lovely sunny day, and the sky was a pale blue with tiny wisps of white clouds. Wow, two lions and two monkeys, Harvey said proudly. We're going to be rich. We're going to be richer, Henrietta replied as she bit into her sandwich. Maybe we can catch a big elephant that we can sell to the circus as well. I hope so. Henrietta thought they would earn lots and lots of money if they were to catch an elephant. And even a rhino or perhaps a giraffe. Henrietta drank some water and watched the camp fire flames. Maybe they could find some nice fruit to eat later. Sometimes there were juicy oranges, tasty bananas and delicious papaya fruits to be found. He took another cookie and bit into it. It tasted really good. And he gave one to Henrietta. Thank you, Mama. The lion cub watched the meat. Can I have some? The lion cub asked. No, the hunter was not. They sniggered at the lions, and the lion cub huddled next to his mother. Once they had loaded their rifles with sleeping guns, they set off back into the jungle to search for more animals. It wasn't long before the monkeys were waking up and finding the monkeys locked up. The female monkeys stretched and yawned loudly, then stopped and looked around. Where are we, she asked. I don't know, her husband replied worriedly. The female lion moved and the monkeys looked around to see her there with her son. We don't be sold to the zoo, she said tearfully. A zoo, the male monkey questioned. Yes, a zoo far away from here. People will come from all around just to look at you. But my baby son is still out there all alone. The female monkey began to cry, and her husband tried to comfort her. Now we don't cry. Oh, my baby little baby out there all alone. She wept with her cut hands. Without his mum and dad, living all alone. Don't worry now. Our sweet little child beyond his bamboo bars. He must be getting hungry, and he really needs his sleep. Oh, I miss him so. Everything will be okay. We'll find a way to escape and find our son, he said softly. The lions can do nothing to help.
The hunters returned with three sleeping birds. One of them was a toucan. He was black and white with big yellow and orange beak. The other two were parrots. They were red, green and blue. Please, let us go, the female lion cried out. My son is out the all alone, the monkey pleaded. Henry and Hop, Hen Henry, Henry and Harvey laughed, Henry and Harvey laughed, laugh, as they pushed the sleeping birds into another cage. Don't worry, we'll catch your son, then he can go with you to the zoo. Yes, three monkeys to the zoo. Baby monkeys are worth a lot of money. I just thought we've got enough cages. Me too, Henrietta said. The hunters left once more. Slowly the birds began to wake up, gazing out through the bamboo bars and seeing the monkeys and the lions locked up beside them. Why are they locked up in here? One of the parents asked. You're going to be sold to a zoo, the baby lion saw. Yeah. My family's out there though, over oceans of towering greens that almost touch the sky, among fluffy clouds of white where our feathered friends fly. Is this to be the end? Fresh flowers and insects to eat, nectar pure and sweet, singing a happy song, sipping water in the summer heat. Are all these days now gone? The two can offer. Jenny and John came to a small village that wasn't far away. They had never been there before. They knew that they lived a witch doctor there and hoped that he might be able to help them. As they entered the village, a young man in a grass skirt came up to him. He stopped before them. Why are you here? He asked. The children were a little afraid, although they knew they had to help the animals. We want to see the witch doctor, John nervously answered. Why? Because there are some hunters in the jungle and they take the animals to send to the zoo, Jenny replied helpfully. The young man turned and led them through the village. The villagers did stop to say hello. They soon came to a small wake mud hut. Wait here, the young man said. Then he entered the hut. After a while, he came back out. Behind him stood the witch doctor. The witch doctor was very tall with long black hair. He was wearing a black and white mask. You want my help? He asked. We want you to help, help to rescue the animals, John replied. Yes, before the hunters take them away, Jenny Ann. Right, show them where they are, he instructed. The children led the witch doctor through the jungle, and it wasn't long until they came to the cages. Oh, thank you, you've come to save us, the female lion sighed. Yes, 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 the lion cuff, cuff said excitedly. The witch doctor tried to open the cages, but he couldn't. They were locked. Without a key, I can do nothing, he said, and then he turned to leave. But my baby sons were out there, all alone, the female monkey pleaded. And my husband, the female lion said, and my friend, one of the birds walked. Can you do magic? John asked patient in pet politely. Hmm. The witch doctor rubbed his beard and walked around mumbling to himself. Yes, he could do that. After all, he was a witch doctor. The animals and the children waited as he walked around, and then he stopped.
and now we understand. Good. The witch doctor replied. Then we shall let you out. But remember just one thing. This world is my world, your world, our world. This world belongs to everybody. We must love and teach each other of love and respect. Accept each other and understand that we are all equal in the eyes of God. The animals didn't want to hurt the hunters. They just wanted to teach them a lesson. They even invited them for party lights before allowing them to leave the jungle. Henry and Harvey said they would be back, although next time they would not be back with guns, but with cameras to take pictures of the animals. We are the animals of this land, free to live and wander, just as God has planned, the animals sang. We are just people living on this earth. Now we understand the hunters will fly as they, as they dance. Let's sing and dance, be happy full of glee. Animals and people, just one big family. Thank you for letting us go, Henrietta smiled. Yes, it's not my being in a cage. Harvey understood now. No, it isn't, the witch doctor said. It's not very nice at all. At least you have learned a lesson about us. Henrietta and Harvey went home the very next day, promising to come back the next year with a cane. They said goodbye to the animals, telling them just how sorry they were. They also said goodbye to Jenny and John. The witch doctor walked them to the edge of the jungle. He waved as they drove off the big truck. Then he returned to the animals. Well, now you have been with me to deepest Africa, and you have helped to rescue the animals. We managed to teach Henrietta and Harvey an important lesson. You have met Jenny and John, and the witch doctor. It's important that we look after each other, respect each other, and that we're kind to each other. We must all take care of this planet that we live on. For this is my world. This is your work. This is ours.